Come on in. Come on in. Good afternoon. Blessed afternoon. I pray your day is going well. Well, it's time for our noonday prayer. Pray that this day has found you in um, good spirits. And today, I just want to encourage you uh, during this moment uh, in your day, as you take just a moment, a break, um, to just think on something higher. I am Carol Grant Gibson, Senior Pastor of St. Andrews United Methodist Church in Fort Worth, Texas. Thank you for taking time out to join in this noonday encouragement and prayer time. We won't be before you long, uh, but I pray um, that uh, all to be well for you. I want to talk a little bit this, this day about um, stumbling blocks and stepping stones. I was looking through an old devotional and uh, in it, I found uh, the passage in Romans 8 and 31 that says, if God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for us, who can be against us? And so as I looked at that devotional, oftentimes I will talk back to God, not like you talk back to your mama, but I'll talk back to God. Uh, in, in, in writing something down. And so what I saw that I had written down was uh, in response to that question, um, what can be against us? I wrote down uh, persons, places, and things can be against us, but only, but they can only win if we give in. So my response to God or to uh, Paul, the writer of, of Romans was, uh, if God be for us, who can win? And I said, uh, people, places, <laughs> and things, but they can only win if we give in. We all are presented with, uh, with stumbling blocks uh, in life. We all are presented with challenges, temptations, um, things of our own making, and sometimes things not of our own making. And so the mark of us, particularly as Christians, is how we handle that. You may not can control what comes to you, uh, but you can control what goes through you. Uh, you can control how you respond. And in Christ, God gives us a way to respond to those challenges. And so uh, a lot of things come to us as stepping stones. Sometimes, you know, people uh, put block roadblocks in our way sometimes. Uh, there are those who uh, will tempt us uh, to turn in another direction. Uh, sometimes it, things are presented just to stop and block our progress. Amen. And uh, so, so, so it comes to everybody. Um, uh, there are things that are allowed in the world uh, through the natural order uh, that will come to any of us. All of us will have are our times of challenges or stumbling blocks uh, that come before us. But the beauty of this is that our stumbling blocks even can become stepping stones. Even our stumbling blocks can become stepping stones. And so uh, it's all in how we look at it. Oh, well, we have things that happen in our lives, losses, whatever. Um, those things that come, uh, we can never see... Uh, anything good coming out of it. Very rarely. Uh, it takes us really walking closely with God and the Holy Spirit really speaking to us for us to see that something good can come out of a bad situation, uh, especially when it's not something that we um, had a hand in, but it's affecting and affected our lives. So stumbling blocks can be turned into stepping stones with God's help. 
So when we think about our own lives and those things that are our stumbling blocks, what are your stumbling blocks? Maybe uh, uh, persons uh, telling you that you can't do something or maybe it's people always um, uh, throwing a wrench in, in, in your plans or successes or moving forward. Maybe it's uh, where you are. Maybe it's the, 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 the places that, that surround you. Uh, maybe it's the things that you uh, attend to, the things that you're attached to. Maybe it's the things that you have going on. Uh, or the things that are going on around you. We can all name our own stumbling blocks. I don't dare name yours for you. Uh, but we all have our own stumbling blocks. And the trick is to not allow those stumbling blocks to bury us. Amen. Not to allow those stumbling blocks to bury us. Uh, but to know that uh, there is a way out. And they can be made stepping stone. So the first thing I want to say is, is let me encourage you because it's all in how you look at it. Sometimes it is as simple as seeing the glass half empty or the glass half full. Uh, the things that come to us uh, that seem to be that are stumbling blocks and seem to be stumbling blocks uh, sometimes will come to us. And it's just a matter of, of us trying to see uh, the good in it or trying to see what good can come out of it. And so uh, we can look at it half empty all the time and, oh, woe is me, and I can never get over this and I can never get beyond this. Or we can see it as half full as, you know, this is not what I asked for or, or what I would have wanted for my life. But uh, I know there's a way with God to navigate through it. There's a there's a way uh, uh, to get beyond it. And, and that's what I mean by seeing the glass is half empty or half full. Uh, even for those that are trying have, in trying times with uh, loss in family, loss of job, loss of income, any of those kinds of things, uh, we can't see what good can come out of it. But if we just remember that joy will come in the morning, sometimes you just have to remember that this is not the end. Joy will come in the morning uh, that you can make it through. So what are the things that can help us to uh, to make it through? Uh, to not allow uh, things to um, come against us uh, when we're in Christ Jesus. Uh, the first thing is focus more on the solution than the problem. Focus more on the solution than the problem. We can bury ourselves by always just ruminating in the problem. Getting into a rut is not the time to think about how you go, how, you know, why you're in the rut. It's the time to think about how do I get beyond this? How do I get out of this? What are the solutions uh, that may be at hand for us? Uh, there was the man at the pool of Bethesda and he had been there for so many years. Um, and uh, the, the, the healing uh, was thought to be found in the pool of Salome, in the pool. And if he could just get into the pool, uh, he could be healed because the stirring of the water uh, initiated the healing for those who were able, who would get in. And he had been there all of those years. He had been right there at the place where healing could take place. But all he could think about, I can't get in the pool. I can't get in the pool. I can't get in the pool. And so Jesus comes along and says, do you want to be healed? Sometimes we get so wrapped up into our troubles and our problems and the stumbling block that we forget to think about what is the solution and it is getting into the pool the man just had given up it seems on getting into the pool and just had centered around his problem so the first is focus more on the solution than on the problem there is a way out if we will focus on trying to find that and remembering for ourselves listen uh, whenever we come up against a brick, brick wall or a situation like that, it's always a time for God to show God's self. You know, in our prayer, we may say, God, I don't know how you're going to do it. This, 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 this is bigger than me. Um, but uh, I, I, I just know God. I just know that uh, you are higher than the rock. You, you, you are the rock that is higher than I, that you can see me through this. And so uh, it's just a time for God to work. Uh, for us to see the hand of God uh, at work. So when we move beyond looking at the, at the problem all the time and beginning to focus on the situation, then we also have to remember, don't get stuck in the rocks. Don't get stuck in the rocks. 
ask for help. When you've got those things that present themselves as stumbling, ask for some help. Don't get stuck in the rocks. If you can't see your way over, you can't see your way under, you can't see your way around, you can't see your way through, admit you need some help. It's not a sign of weakness. It's really a sign of strength. Just admit that you need help and ask for help. There's no harm in seeking wise counsel and seeking support. And, and, and when we sing that song, ask the Savior to help you, comfort, strengthen, and keep you. He is willing to aid you. He will carry you through. Then we can believe that. We can set our, our hope on that. We, we, can, we, can, we can lean our weight on that. But we have to also remember that part of that help and that aid may come through somebody God sends our way. It may come through others. The spiritual may send the physical in our midst. Uh, to help and to aid us, to support us, uh, to walk beside us, uh, to give us a helping hand. Uh, so don't hesitate to seek help. Don't hesitate to seek help. You're going through something, you're, the, the stumbling block seems so much. Seek help. Amen. Seek help. Seek help. Seek help. Um, there was a man who... Um, was looking over a cliff trying to trying to see what was be beyond and beneath it and uh he got a little too close and he fell off the cliff and uh the only thing that broke his fall from uh falling uh into uh all of the water below and um and likely dying uh almost assuredly dying was there was this branch that had grown out of the cliff and it broke his fall and there he was and uh, he was trying to find a, a way to help himself and he couldn't he couldn't find a way. And so he began to pray. He began to ask God, God, save me from this. Like, save me, save me, help me, help me. And uh, in the midst of that, uh, him crying out to God to help him, uh, there was one who came along in a boat and uh, 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 was trying to show him how to how to make his way down. There was another one. Uh, who came uh, from the top of the cliff with a rope, willing to throw it down and to, to, to pull him up. He denied all of that help that came his way. And eventually the branch broke and uh, he fell and he died. So he gets up before the pearly gates and, and he wants to ask God one question. He said, God, I ask you for help. I ask you to help me and you didn't help me. And God said, well, I sent somebody in a, by in a boat. I sent somebody uh, with a rope. I sent persons to help you. Uh, but he didn't recognize or acknowledge that God would send help in ways that he didn't expect. And so we have to be willing to reach out for help. God will have those who are willing, if we'll just reach out, uh, to walk alongside us and to support us as we're going through uh, what seem to be our stumbling blocks. So focus more on the solution than the problem. Don't get stuck in the rocks. Ask for help. And then keep the faith. Keep hope alive. Don't give up. Whatever you do, don't give up. There are always that that's trying to steal your joy, but don't give up. There's always that that's trying to present uh, a, a, a barrier uh, to you moving forward. Don't give up. Don't give up. Uh, the scripture says in Galatians 6 and 9, it says, and let us not weary in well doing for in due season we shall reap if we not, if we not faint. So what that says to me is if we don't give up, if we just don't give up, then the stumbling block will not have the victory, but it will become our stepping stone to go up and to go higher so that we can make it through and make it over. So be mindful of that. Sometimes uh, when we talk about uh, not giving up, sometimes there's some things you just have to ride it out. <laughs> you just have to keep your hand in God's hand, allow those to surround you. To support you but some things you just have to ride out you just have to ride out the storm sometimes but those stumbling blocks can become 
your stepping stones if you just do not give up. And so, um, last story I want to tell about uh, about this is um, sometimes we just have to dig out. We can't, if it's not for us to just, just ride it through, sometimes we just have to dig out. And that's what I was talking about in the first one. It talks about um, the glass half full or half empty. And, uh, um, and sometimes we, we can dig, dig out of uh, whatever that stumbling block that comes before us. Um, old goat, man loved this goat, loved, loved, loved his favorite goat. And so um, the goat um, fell into a hole, a deep hole, and uh, the, the farmer couldn't see a way of getting the goat out. And he just knew uh, that if the goat hit bottom, it would be dead. And so the man proceeded to take the dirt, take dirt, and to fill the hole um, to bury um, the goat. And he was just shoveling the dirt, shoveling the dirt. And before long, he heard this. He was almost, almost through it. And he just heard this wrestling, this, this, this little scratching. And uh, looked down in the hole and found that the goat was scratching his way back up. He was taking every uh, shovel of dirt that was being poured on him and putting it under his feet so that he could rise above. I want to tell you that there are some things that are going to come that will try to bury you, but I want to tell you, just keep Keep, keep taking those things and putting it under your feet. The Lord said he can put the, the enemy can be put under your feet. Just keep putting it under your feet. Praise God. Hey, brother Chris, just keep putting it under your feet and you will see that you can claim uh, the victory in Christ Jesus. I want to assure you today that your stumbling blocks don't have to take you out. They can become your stepping stones. And so be encouraged today. And I want you to know that God is for us. And if God is for us, when we believe and trust in him and willing to be obedient to his will and way, uh, nothing, nothing can come against us. Nothing can have the victory over us. Let's pray. Blessed Savior, we are thankful this day to know that you are God and you are God all by yourself. To know, oh God, that uh, we are affirmed uh, by your love. We are affirmed uh, as those, oh God, who can have the victory in you. We thank you that you make a way of escape, a way out of no way. And God, when our stumbling blocks come before us, oh God, sometimes uh, they take up uh, all of our vision, uh, but help us to look around it or over it or under it and see, oh God, that you have better just beyond it. If we'll just hold out, if we'll just continue to st be steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in you, God, that we can claim that victory, God. Uh, help us, O oh Master, to uh, not be a stumbling block for any others, but to know, O oh God, that whatever stumbling blocks come our way, uh, they will not have the victory when we uh, are in you. So help us to focus on the solution and, and not the problem. Help us, O oh God, to see the glass is half full instead of always half empty. Help us, O oh God, to uh, not give up and not give in, to, to hold fast to our faith. Help us. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, to just be mindful that uh, we don't have to get stuck in the rocks, that uh, there is help for us. And, and not only, oh God, the spiritual help, but that you bring others alongside of us uh, to offer physical help and support. And so we bless you today, God. I, I, I know that you are doing a great thing and we're going to praise you before we even see it, God, because we know that you are at work. And so we ask that you would bless the one who is listening right now, oh God, who uh, needs just a little of encouragement to know that their stumbling blocks don't have to bury them. Uh, they don't have to become a wall, that it can become a stepping stone to higher and greater things, oh God, to be able to see uh, you more clearly. Those stumbling blocks, oh God, uh, can become the stepping stones of 
which we can experience you more in our lives. The, we can come to understand your word better. Uh, use those stumbling blocks, oh God, that come before us, that they may be the stepping stones, uh, that even in the presence of our, my, our enemies, oh God, that, that a table uh, is laid before us. And so we just bless you, God, because we don't know what the rest of the day may hold, but, but we have the faith. We have the faith. We have the hope that you are with us. We are not alone through it all. And so we thank you, God. We thank you, oh God, that uh, uh, you are uh, our way maker. We thank you, oh God, that you are the lifter of our head. We thank you, oh God, that you are our door opener. We thank you in the name of Jesus Christ that you are that one who sticks closer than a friend. We bless you today, God. We bless your holy name. We ask, oh God, that you would just continue to walk and talk with us. Call us your own. Tarry with us for just a little while, oh God. Help us to continue to see uh, that you are the light of the world, even in the midst of uh, the darkness that may sometimes come upon our lives, that you are the true light. And Lord, help us to follow that light. Help us to follow that light day by day. And so we bless you, God, and we thank you right now for your, your power, your presence, and your provision. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. I want to say thank you for joining us. Uh, share this with someone else that it may help. And yes, Sister Wynette, uh, see the solutions and not the problems. I'm telling you, uh, uh, God has uh, a way that, that we don't often see. But when you yoke up with others, amen, uh, they can help you to see all the possibilities and opportunities that come before you. And so thank you for joining us. Come and be with us on next Wednesday at 12 noon again, and we'll do it all over again. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.